So a mastopexy is basically a breast uplift. It's a technique to rejuvenate and lift breasts that have lost uh, shape and volume following, for example, weight loss and pregnancy and breastfeeding. Um, and it, it really is a, a three component operation. The first component is usually to reduce the size of the nipple areola complex and to lift the nipple into a higher position. The second procedure is to tighten up the breast by removing some skin. And the third procedure is to use some internal sutures to help shape the new breast cone um, so that you get a much nicer shape of the breast afterwards. Um, the ideal candidate for a mastopexy is the patient who wants to rejuvenate the breast by lifting it, but is aware of the fact that a mastopexy or an uplift doesn't give you the fullness in the upper part of the breast that you might have once had. Um, you can only really achieve the fullness in the upper part of the breast by using either an implant or some fat transfer techniques. So ideally, a mastopexy works best in people who have had a, a, small, a small degree of sagging of the breast, um, elongation of the breast, but still have good quality tissues uh, and good quality skin um, who are not smokers and lead a, health, lead a health, healthy lifestyle. The main risks in mastopexy, um, the commonest risks are things like a bit of bleeding afterwards. There can be an infection requiring antibiotics, although serious infections are very rare. Um, scarring is a little bit unpredictable. It's usually very good and heals very nicely within the first year. Occasionally scars can be lumpy. A bit of asymmetry between one breast and the other is absolutely inevitable as everybody is a bit different from one side to the other. There can be delayed wound healing, particularly on the underside of the breast um, where there's uh, sometimes uh, a bit gets a little bit scabby, takes a bit longer to heal than other areas where all the sort of corners of the incisions come together. Um, the very rare infections, things like losing some of the blood supply to the nipple, are very, very rare with this operation when it's undertaken correctly. The main benefits of mastopexy are both functional and cosmetic. Cosmetically, obviously, it's nice to have uh, a smaller, perter, more uplifted breast. Um, and uh, it's easy and functionally it's easier to find a bra that fits clothes that fit. you might get rashes underneath the breast if the breast is constantly resting up on the upper abdomen um, and so uh, the mastopexy not only gives you a perter uh, breast with a better shape um, but it also helps with the symptoms that go with having uh, empty loose sagging breasts such as dragging sensations difficulty buying underwear and clothes um, and rashes underneath the breast So in terms of results, expect a, a higher and uh, better nipple position on the breast mound, uh, a tighter rejuvenated breast. Do not expect there to be fullness in the upper pole of the breast. That is something that you need to be very aware of before uh, deciding on having a mastopexy alone. Um, and you would probably see the final result by around about three months at the follow-up appointment. Um, but do know that time and gravity will immediately continue to press on. So wearing a bra is very, very important.